Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and the welcome back to another Minecraft mod review with me, and today covering not a significantly large mod, it's actually quite a small simple mod, it does pretty much what it says in the tin, it is the Naruto Seven Swordsman of the Mist, something 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 like that mod, which uh yeah, introduces seven weapons that belong to seven ninja swordsmen of the Hidden Mist Village. Um. Yeah, pretty simple mod, does exactly what it says in the tin, introduces pretty much exactly as it says, although it's also got, it's got a couple extra bits in it as well, um, that goes along with this stuff. But yeah, it's pretty cool from what I've seen, though the swords look quite nice, they introduce very, a couple of other ways of hitting things and attacking methods and stuff, and um, it's just nice to have a bit more Naruto in Minecraft. It's also for Minecraft 1.15.2. So, I don't know, there's a couple of different Minecraft mods have been coming out, but I haven't looked at particularly all of them, because some of them look better than others, to say. And some of them are obviously more in development, so it's just a matter of waiting and seeing which ones come out and end up looking the best. But anyway, let me look at this one. I just I saw the models for this stuff and I just thought, oh, that looks nice, let's have a look at this. But right, anyway, that's how we look, so shall we? So, first one. <clears throat> How you pronounce this? <laughs> so a quick thing, I'm gonna pronounce things wrong a lot. Kuiberry bocho, maybe that's pronounced. I don't know. I've heard other people say it that way. Could be wrong, but anyway, it's a weapon. It has 1.2 attack speed, so slightly slower than the average sword. 24 attack damage though. That's pretty strong. It's made using iron blocks and an iron stick. Iron stick is made from iron ingots and using a hammer. Hammer is made from using iron and a thick stick. A thick stick is made from two blocks of oak wood. And uh, yeah, basically uh, that year is the hammer with hammer down. This the iron and testic. But anyway, yeah, once you do all that, you get your hands on the Kimberry Bocho. Which uh, as a sword, obviously does tons of damage and whatnot. But uh, it does give you the ability slow- uh, the ability. It gives you the effect slowness, so... Well, you're not obviously not going to be as quick while wielding it. Which I mean, fair enough, I suppose. If you're going to get a big powerful thing, you might as well have downsides to having absurd amounts of power. But yeah, hitting a golem. Lots of damage, as you may expect from a sword that does 24. Ah, uh, but yeah, something I'm curious about. Ba -ba -da. Into survival, put a bit of armor on just so I don't die. So I'll be making our golem really quick. One, durability. Two. Yeah, you're not going to fight back, are you? Yeah, definitely not. Ah, uh, durability, 7,000. So it's not going to break anytime soon, that's for sure. Although I do wonder, Kuma Butcher's special ability thing was basically in itself repairing itself, so I suppose that's just not a factor. But, you know, fair enough. Okay. Right, that's this one, however it's pronounced. Next up, I don't know what I'm doing in this order. I picked, like, probably two of the most popular ones first, but oh well. Uh, Sammy Hada. 18 attack damage, speed of 1, so even slower. Uh, is made using. Uh, thick stick, wool, which be the wrapping, and for semi had pieces, semi had pieces is made from obsidian and leather, so not too insane, all things considered. The weapon itself also, yeah, gives you slowness, let alone, but yeah, it, it lacks power by comparison to the Kimberry Bocho, but it's got other things going on for it, I suppose. Let's see, why is this not working? Oh, that's why. I put it next to a bit of grass there, oops. There we go. But yeah, so it's a bit slower, it's a bit less powerful, so why would you use it? Because it does other things too. So it gives the withering effects to enemies, which, um, yeah, it makes up for its lack of power by basically meaning it'll, it'll overall just do more damage to your foe. That's pretty good. God, these weapons, uh, you, you can just imagine fighting against each other. You'd have to have, like, full diamond enchanted armor. To survive these things, pretty much. But yeah, to, no, the, not, the mod doesn't add any armor or anything like that, but it would be cool to see it adds ninja armor, whether it be mist or whether it be like Sazabazaz or something. Anyway, say ha. Next up, we're onto the ones that I don't remember the names of, but we got Kiba. So, curry filler episode? <laughs> that was a thing. Uh, yeah, stick, thin electrical iron ingot made from smashing down a piece of iron. Wait a minute. Oh, you're just from smashing down regular iron. Yeah, I was about to say, like, yeah, that's... 
Yeah, Cine Electric Squad Iron Ingot made from, yeah, hammer, smash down, things, bim ba -dim. sword. So, again, this sword, even slower than the other ones. It's actually even slower than an axe, and its attack damage is only 8. It does grant you absorption and fire resistance. Why does it give you fire resistance? Well, because you kill yourself otherwise. Uh, that was probably quite clever, them giving you fire resistance with this sword. It makes no sense, because, like, why would you bring me into fire? But, um, yeah, because it would get you killed otherwise. <laughs> to put it simply, every time you attack with this blade, it will summon lightning, because, you know, it's the lightning sword. How are you going to make this effect work? Well, good that. It also gives you extra hearts, which is nice, but yeah. Bwah! So even though it does A, it then will strike them with lightning and burn them. So... Helps make up the extra damage, doing that extra bit of other stuff. Do you think I could do with this sword? What's it? I can't remember. I remember some swords obviously do wielded and stuff. Obviously not these ones. Unless you're, uh... Oh god, what's his name? Sammy Hara? What was Sasuke's little companion's name? I forget his name. He wanted to be able to wield all the seven swords and all that. It was apparently, you couldn't wield them together. That was maybe a thing. Like, you had to wield them separately and stuff. But no, he wanted all of them. He wanted to wield them all. But oh yeah, just to point out, Kimmy Bocho and, like, Sammy Hara, I didn't, I didn't really, like, pick them and look at them properly there. Yeah, this is what it looked like. Which, I mean, I think it looks quite, like, considering what we normally play as a maker, I think this is look quite nice. That's quite cool. I quite like it. Oh, because, I mean, all too often people introduce swords into Minecraft and it's basically just a retextured iron sword where the swords are tiny. And, like, it never looks as good. Like, having Kurobochi, Kurobochi is meant to be a big sword. We know it's meant to be a big sword. When you get it and then it's, like, the size of your arm, it's a bit disappointing. When you get it and it's, you know, the size of you plus a bit extra, yeah, that feels like a good sword, even if it's not. A great sword. It still just looks and feels like a good sword just from the sheer quality of its size. Hey. Anyway. Also, right. Semihara. 100 durability. You. Come back. But, uh, and you. 7,000. I don't know why Semihara's got so much less. I guess maybe it's, it's considered powerful because it's got the withering effect thing. I don't know. Odd. Anyway, next up. The. Fifth? Uh, Mizukagi? I forget his name. Whatever. Hira Makiri. It's qu it attacks quick. Anyway, it attacks quicker. This sword it attacks quicker than Illus. So it attacks quicker than a regular iron sword. 14 damage. What does it do? I don't know. I really don't. I've, I've tried figuring out what it does. It just doesn't want to tell me. Um, if it has an extra effect, I have no idea what it is. It has 7,000 durability, which, again, yeah, really weird how someone has the one that doesn't have that. Yeah, I, I guess maybe it attacks quicker. I don't know. Like, what was this sword's whole deal? It, like, charged up energy or something? I don't know. It played a very small bit and thing. Anyway, that's there. Next up. Oh, this is an interesting blade. I like this one. Also comes with a little extra. One of the little extra things I mentioned before. Paper bombs. They're a thing. TNT. Paper. Makes two paper bombs. Bunch of paper bombs. Iron blocks. And iron stick. Makes Shibuki. 22 damage plus 1.2 attack speed. Uh, paper bombs, they don't stack by the way. It, like, it says in its creating recipe they stack. No, it's lying. They don't. I mean, they do when you first get them, but they don't. But anyway, how do paper, what do paper bombs do? You eat them at people and they explode. I didn't expect to go that far there. Hold on. Arrgh. That's just a chain reaction. That wasn't all me there. But, um, yeah, basically the idea of this, though, is you, you throw it at things and it explodes. I originally thought maybe you'd lie it down the ground. No, don't lie down the ground. You'll die. <laughs> well, you don't die. Like, it'll hurt a lot, but you won't die. Okay, like, you will if you're not wearing diamond armor. But, yeah, they hurt, basically, is what I'm getting at. Nice little things. I mean, the, the way they operate. If it was strapped to a kunai, it would make sense. Maybe that'd be a thing to add in, like a, a crafting thing where, like, the paper bombs themselves don't do anything unless you, like, lock down. But, uh, yeah, you can throw them with a kunai to do, you know, this. Blah! Ah! Yeah, better heal up. Right, um. 
I suppose I could just summon a golem and throw one at it. Good way to test how much health it takes. Oh, I need to stop hurting myself. Well, it, it, it killed the golem, so, um... So far, the paper bomb's the most dangerous thing we've seen. Cool. I like it. I mean, it doesn't. It shouldn't work like that, but I like it nonetheless. Anyway, Shibuki, an interesting weapon. A sword that has paper bombs strapped to it. What did the person do when he runs out of paper bombs? Who knows? It just becomes a crappier sword at that point. Right, 22 damage. Instant health plus 4. Slowness. I don't get instant health. What, what the hell is instant health? It just it gives you health back by putting it on. I assume so, because, like, yeah, if you attack something, it explodes. Got a fight? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I need to get injured to actually properly test this. Mate, fight me. Hold on. There's a villager I can punch in the face. That'll get them all riled up. It always does. Go away, junk. All right. Golems. If only, if only I hadn't killed all the villagers nearby. <laughs> right, hold on. We need a fresh golem. We need a fresh golem near villagers that it wants to protect. I want to see how this health thing works. Okay, I want to see. Does this thing just... Does this blade just... It's... <sighs> that was not meant to go like that. Alright, then do it this way. Does this just give you free health back whenever you... There we go. For God's sake, pay attention! I thought you were... <laughs> I just want to fight. <laughs> oh, I, I thought golems were made of defense things. Ah, oh. Right, new plan. We're gonna get a slightly more violent helper. Hello. There we go. Now you're going to hurt me. Yes. Yes. Yes, you are. Now I'm gonna be able to... Yeah, it literally just gives you health back. <laughs> wow. Are you basically just immortal with this blades? Oh my god. Okay, maybe that's something like if they're working on the mod, they might want to patch up a bit. Uh, as nice as it is the idea of them giving you health back because obviously you don't want to die from the explosion. Becoming functionally immortal while wielding it's probably not a good idea. Also, ow. That was a thing. Hold on, is that a function of TNT or mob grouping? Slash. One more says game rule. Mob griefing. Folks, so. Right, with mob grieving set of fogs, that means TNT blowing up will still destroy land, but creepers blowing up won't. It's a function of TNT. Alright, cool. Yeah, anyway, swords, damage, also immoral. <laughs> Alright then, that's a bit broken. Anyway, next up. Kabutuari? It's very slow. Uh, you use the Kabutuari Axe Nakari Hammer. Hammer made from iron, obsidian, thick sticks, and the uh, hammer made from wood, iron blocks, and thick sticks. Weapon! Ha! Oh, it gives you strength 3. So that's pretty good. Sensei, though, it doesn't actually split up when holding it. That's why Sensei, this weapon, like the other ones, look quite good and stuff. Yeah, this one, not so much. Uh, what would be better is you're wielding them like this, technically, but even then. Yeah, it doesn't quite work out, does it? Um, maybe one day. Maybe one day. If it was getting worked on, hopefully one day it'll get fixed. But anyway, it's a hammer. It hurts. And the idea of it is you get strength three while wielding it. So you do a loss of damage. Goodbye. 7,000 durability, as expected. Yeah, strength in later Minecraft, like, it's not as good as the early version. The early version, you got 130% power base, so, like, a 7 attack sword would do, like, 19 or something. Uh, this, in the new version, just gives you a plus 3. So, technically, the weapon goes from doing uh, 21 up to... Uh, sorry, it goes up from 12 up to, like, t doing t around 21. So, even then, it's still not a great weapon. <laughs> By, well, it's a really great weapon compared to, like, a diamond sword. But, like, yeah, it's not so great compared to, you know, some of these are weapons with their effects and stuff. By the way, it's a thing that exists. Cool. Last up, the needle. I quite like this one. The body. So, alright, well, this is the hammer for one. But, uh, yeah, needle. Needles are made from thin electrical iron ingots uh, being hammered down. Needles don't do anything, as far as I can tell. Like, I, this Clement set so far, so when I saw it, I thought, oh, it's like Senbon. 
maybe it's gonna be, but like right now it doesn't do anything. I've tried right clicking it and things and stuff. It's just, it's just, it's just, not, it's just right and loops there. It's just not working. Uh, so yeah, it's it's not very anything. But uh, no, the uh, no battery though. Different story. So needle, big long needle. Don't look at it from that angle. Don't look at it there. That's better. Uh, yeah. It has no attack damage. So the idea of the needle itself isn't so much you're supposed to hit people with it, because that's not what you used it for. You used it to stitch people together. A.K.A. you right click. You right click. Oh, I know what's happening. Yeah, okay, it's the needles. Um, I may have done this in creative mode. And it may have just shot things. Okay, I now know what the needles do. <laughs> I don't know why my brain didn't click on it. Maybe that's what was required, but all right, here we are. Uh, yeah, Navari is made from thin electrical ingots and uh, string. And yeah, basically the idea is it shoots needles. It's bloody meant to. Hold on. What? All right, when you right click it for one, it gives you a fire resistance and absorption three. I don't know why the fire resistance, but it gives you absorption three. All right, cool. For a very, very short period of time. I thought you were supposed to fire these things, but apparently not. Well, two point out. I literally I was in creative mode when I was playing around with this one, so I didn't really. Think. Yeah, in creative mode when you shoot with it, it, it shoots a projectile. I didn't really think any more into that. I just thought, ooh, it shoots a projectile. Is in the idea it's like shooting itself into the enemy and hurting them and blah. Uh, but yeah, it does a bunch of damage. Fifteen. But yeah, um, don't really. Maybe this one just doesn't work currently. Or I'm just doing something wrong. It could be maybe there's something else is required. Unless it sh Like, you'd think it'd be shooting that. Unless it shoots an arrow or something. I don't know. Either way. Looks nice from this angle, at least. But yeah, that's the Seven Swordsman Swords. It's not right mod. I don't know. I just saw it and saw the models and thought that looks kind of interesting. It's 1.15.2, so... If you're playing a 1.15... Pack of Minecraft might be something you want to put in if you want Naruto stuff. Some of it's more broken than others. As you can see, clearly the person that made it might not have fully tested it and thinking, yeah, let's make this balanced. If they did test it and they got to this weapon, how can you think becoming functionally immortal is balanced? <laughs> it's never balanced. You can't make someone immortal and think that that's a balanced gameplay. Oh, unless your idea of balance is being immortal, in which case it's perfectly balanced. All right, anyway. That's the Seven Swordsman mod. Link will be down below if you want to check it out. It's the one I'll keep an eye on for sure anyway, because, like, it's, like, it looks, or, like, yeah, I quite like it. I quite like it the way it is for looks. Obviously, it'd be better if that thing, that, was split into your both your hands and stuff. And all that. And obviously, some of the little abilities, like this thing, might need tweaks, or I'm just using it wrong. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I quite like it. I think it's quite a cool mod. Right, anyway, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I'm going to stand here like this, at least, yeah, there we go. We spilled a bit of sword. But right, anyway, people, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this little mod review. Again, if you want to get check out the mod yourself, link's down below. It's pretty simple. does what it says in the tin. I quite like it. I just enjoy mods that bring a little bit more Naruto into Minecraft. Because something I've been hoping for for ages. Because, you know, all the other mods stopped getting updated. Anyway... Let's not be sad over that. Let's be happy over the new mod things we do get. Ah, but right, anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time for whatever Minecraft anime mod updates next. I decide to review. But yeah, thank you for watching. See you on for that. Go buy a rub, buddy. Da, 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 da. Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all of the channel members for the extra support and a special thank you and shout out to our elite members, the joining members, Austin Quinzenberry, Javis Baker, Platius Afrokage, It's Ender Steve P, Tobirama Senju, and Sebastian Ramsey, and our Ombu members are Robert Saimeka, Rapids Rook, Shadow Wolf, Aragon, Gold Dragon and Call of Clash. Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. Butter, butter, butter.